Hello, Sagittarius. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 14th of August. This week's big news is, of course, the solar eclipse, which occurs in your sister fire sign of Leo. The second new moon, if you like, of a month, a black moon, is going to give you an opportunity over the next six months to really expand your horizons. But there is a bit of a contradiction there, isn't there? Because Saturn, the planet of restriction, has been in your zodiac sign, of course, for two and a half years. But by the 19th of December this year, he will be saying goodbye and moves into your sector of resources. But some of the things that you've really sifted out of your life, the way that you've made your life much more simplified, you've brought it down to the core things that really matter, well, that's given you the platform to now be much more trailblazing. And trailblazing, of course, is one of your great natural qualities. So if you do find yourself attracted to travel, philosophy, history, higher education, or just being a lot more spontaneous and living in the moment, it wouldn't be a surprise, particularly as this solar eclipse is linking with Uranus, the planet of restlessness, which is in your sector of romance and creativity and personal expression. But there are some other interesting influences this week. Mercury is, of course, inverting. It's retrograding in the sign of Virgo, which for you is very much about your career or goals and ambitions in life. And this week, it's also in opposition with Neptune, the planet of dreams. Balancing your work and your home life may prove to be a bit uh, of a challenge. It's possible that someone around you may have demands upon you. It could be a boss, it could be an organisation, it could just be that you're trying to work out new directions and not quite sure of exactly what you want because this sense of excitement and expansion is so strong within you at the moment with Mars and Jupiter, Jupiter your lovely ruler, also forging a fantastic link which is all about taking risks and just going for it. This is galvanising you too. But I think we have to recognise that Mercury is about facts and Neptune is about dreams and can, in an opposition, create some distortion. So if you're thinking about property matters, discussing anything in the family or about where you live, it may not be a necessarily straightforward process. But when it comes to passion, with Venus and Pluto in opposition, your desire side is also ramped up to an incredible high. I really do uh, find all Venus-Pluto influences highly fascinating because I guess I'm really uh, interested in what makes people tick. Venus is about what we want, but it's also about what we attract to us, and Pluto is about power. Now, it could be that someone's going to offer you something this week that seems very, very tempting. It could be a financial deal. Perhaps you're interested in, in them in a more romantic context. And if the terms of reference are utterly clear, this could be a real opportunity to transform your finances in particular in a very positive way. But if you're not quite sure where the other person's coming from or even where you're up to in something... And the distortion between Mercury, how you're thinking, and Neptune, how you're feeling, well, just don't get too involved with something until you're really sure. But I do think over the next six months, you're going to really feel that you're rediscovering your joie de vivre. It may not come absolutely consistently all at once, but I do think you're going to put into place now some things that are going to just see you being in much more imperious, galvanising form. So go for it and dazzle people with all your talents and charisma. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now. Hello, thank you so much for watching my video. I'd love you to join me at my Horoscope Ace app. You can find this at www.horoscope-ace.com. You can use it through Android, iOS, Apple or Facebook. Check out 
your ascendant or your moon sign or download your free birth chart. There's all your favourite videos, plus there are daily, weekly, monthly and yearly horoscopes for general, love, Chinese and Indian astrology. If your passion is tarot, there's my brilliant three-card money or love tarot readings too. And it's all there at www.horoscope-ace.com. Thank you.